dirt that's in here. Let's see if I can do this one handed without dropping my camera. Drum looks okay, not damaged. Yeehaw! what I need for my camera. The snow is going down his butt crack. Nice and flat. Let's fix that. All right, let's have a look at these. Oh, those are pretty. Those are pretty, pretty smooth. So I'm really cheap. Uh, these are really expensive for skags. Let's try to make something that can go on that. It'll last, I don't know, half a season. Won't even have to grind that off because it is just shiny and smooth. So uh, that's what I got in my scrap pile. And my scrap pile. Now I was looking at some stuff back here. It's like lots of junk. I mean, obviously not junk. <laughs> Gotta make a video of this thing pretty soon. I was looking, there's some material, some, some step material. Ooh, stepped on that. I was thinking that stuff right there. Oh, that's not even frozen. I'm thinking this stuff. What if I took this? What if that's too thin? Thinking of cutting it half and uh, just putting some tack welds on what's on there already there. Probably last you know, a couple of months, but the amount that we ride this machine, I think it's all right. So here's what I'm thinking. This should work quite nicely. I don't think like, this is step material. I think from uh, must be from a mill or something. I've walked across this stuff, stairs and whatever, loading up my trucks. Uh, but here's what I'm thinking. I will cut a piece, one handed with the camera. What are we thinking here? Cut a piece. What is that? It's about end to end, rough, roughly about 18 inches. And it's relatively flat too. I'm going to cut a hunk. Cut a hunk of this stuff out, maybe 18 inches. Cut a big slab off of it and uh, weld it under. All right, let's see. Inches, so I'll go to here. Subscribe. And let's go. Let's go three eighths of an inch. 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 We do the old carpenter's trick. Not bad. Not 
bad for you old truck driver. Cut her all the way down to the end. Maybe make two pieces of this one top hunk. There. Okay, now we got a cutting wheel. We'll cut that out. I don't know if I'm going to film it because I don't want to wreck the camera. Safety engaged. See what you're looking at. What are you looking at? That'll work. Death wheel. It's a little bit small now. I think just change that wheel out. Got my piece. Well, I won't win any prizes for you know cutting straight. And I put a little, it's kind of weird to put a curve in it when I cut it. Okay, let's get this chopped up to size. All right, so this is what my big large brain came up with something like that. Now, you know, these aren't hardened steel, so I can't see this lasting very long. But really, the amount that we ride this machine, I think it'll be okay. These are freaking expensive, these actual skags. Really expensive. No, I've never welded on camera before, so we'll see how well this goes. <coughs> and no, I'm not a welder, <laughs> but uh, see what I can do here. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. My archaic old mask.
Okay, here goes nothing. Not bad, not bad. So... It's either going to be really good or really bad. I just don't, I don't want to hold that. I've been zapped before a while welding. Tax on there. You get the idea. I'm gonna weld those on and we'll bring it back when it's, uh, <laughs> we'll see how it looks. Oh yeah, what do you think of that? I got uh, turned out pretty good. Not bad for a truck driver, farmer, whatever. They uh, angled the front, put a nice little angle on that so it doesn't rip off the first bump. Uh, yeah, don't, uh, don't bust on my welds. I'm not, I'm not a welder, um, I should have been a welder, sort of a passion of mine, but no, not a welder, I think it looked pretty good, uh, second one turned out better than the first one, let's go throw them on there. You know what, I need new skis so bad, these skis are so worn out, but you know what, I'm too cheap.
All right. Oh, and now we ride. Let's see if that did anything. Oh yeah. Look at that. Well, actually, steer. Oh, this thing has been steered since I owned it. Not bad. Oh, look at that. That's a win. Look at that. Holy crap, I've never had a sled turn so sharp. Look at that. Look at those tracks. Look at this craziness. Look at that. <laughs> I've never had a sled turn like that before. All right, that's a win. Oh, we're up there. That's a win. We'll see how long it lasts, because like I said, it's not hardened metal. Uh, a lot of skags are like, it's like a, 6160 like hardened steel and it doesn't get eaten away over time uh works for me i'm happy the kid will be able to steer when he's on there he was riding with his sister today and he went and turned and it went straight into a snowbank <laughs> oops okay one of these days i'll make a backstory on this sled and where i got it from <clears throat> the lady I, I bought it off of she was going to give it to me for free for free now the hood was all red and gross when i first had it so i tore it down that's why the skis are red it had a red hood had a red seat but the seat was all torn up so i got one of those from a buddy gave her a hundred bucks for it thanks beth best hundred bucks i ever spent all right bye have a good weekend or what's left of it bye bye